Hey guys and welcome for a new video. Today to get in the Christmas spirit I wanted to share with you five of my all-time favorites like Christmas movies and I think it's the right time to do it because for me from the 1st of December to the 25th of December it's like a Christmas movie marathon and out of all the Christmas movies that you can find out there in the world there is five that are my all-time favorites. So four of them are really Christmas related and one of them is not but you will understand better it's the last one of that video so stay tuned so the first one is a really like classic that's the Muppets Christmas Carol so for a little background uh, this movies this movie uh, came out in 1992 I was six years old and I think I actually went to the cinema to watch it with my mom or my dad at that time so it's pretty old but uh, everybody knows that movie. Uh, it's about the Dickens classic fairy tale. Uh, the main character and only like human um, character is Michael Caine, which is one of my British, which is one of my favorite British actor. And um, it's really great. Everybody knows the story of Ebenezer Scrooge. Is a really mean like uh, businessman uh, in the mid 19th or 18th century and he doesn't know the meaning of Christmas anymore so his employee uh, is gonna help him to remember um, what was Christmas for him when he was a little boy by going through uh, all the Christmas he actually lived and why he doesn't like it anymore well you know the story but um, it's a classic for me and I still enjoy all the songs and the Muppets of course Miss Piggy who doesn't like Miss Piggy or um, Kerm Kermit the Frog so it's a really big classic for me and I can wait to watch it again. The second one is uh, Jingle All The Way. Well, this one is probably a big surprise for you. It's um, a, movie, a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger? Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know if I'm saying it right Anyway, so uh, it's a movie from 1996 um, and it's uh, let me just read you through the like sum up of the movie. It's a workaholic over Le um, Langston. He wants to make up to his son Jamie, and he promises him to get um, him the hottest toy of the season, which is Turbo Man. And uh, but it's sold out, so he's gonna go through a lot of things and a big journey to find that uh, toy and at the end of the movie he's gonna actually learn the real meaning of Christmas and it's a really great movie it's the kind of you know family movie you love you cry you know it's it's a really nice one and I think that Schwarzenegger was a really great actor when he was doing like kids related movies because I don't know He's kind of a supernatural character when it comes to movies, so I think he's best in those kind of movies. And this is the kind of, you know, warm-hearted movie uh, at Christmas time, and I really enjoy it. Movie number three, which is The Grinch. Uh, the Grinch is, um, how can you explain it? It's an anti-Christmas, pro-Christmas movie. You got everything mixed up in the same movie. So everybody knows The Grinch. The Grinch is Jim Carrey in that movie. Um, it's a movie from 2000. And um, just for the summary, um, The Grinch decided to ruin Christmas for people of Whoville, but he encounters, um, what's her name? Cindy Lou Who. And she's gonna actually teach him how to love Christmas and why he doesn't like it anymore and stuff like that so I really love everything in that movie the fact that uh, the characters and everyone is kind of it's really Tim Burton-y in a way uh, it's by Dr. Seuss by the way um, and um, I really like it it's just a different type of movie it's just a different type of characters and I just love movies that makes you like think of something and it makes you dream that's it and even though it's an entire movie and the Grinch is really grumpy all the way long but I there's always happy endings, so so it's a really great one to watch, you know, just to raise up your Christmas spirit. Um, the fourth one is The Santa Claus. Well, it's a movie from 1994 with one of my favorite childhood actor, like, of all time, Tim Allen. Um, if you doesn't know Home Improvement, you have actually I'm not gonna say the F word, you have actually ruined your life. <laughs> but you have to be a, 19 ba a 90s baby to know uh, Tim Allen. 
So to sum up the movie, uh, after he accidentally kills a man in Santa suit, Scott is transported to North Pole, where elves explain that Scott must actually take Santa's place before next Christmas arrives. So he thinks that it's actually a dream, but during the past, f but throughout the past. But throughout the next few months, he is actually gaining weight, he grows a white beard, and everything like weird happened to him. So it's actually a movie. Um, it's funny because it actually started with the actually death of Santa, which is kind of weird in a way. But um, it's uh, like this, like Jingle All the Way. It's actually a feel warm, hardened movie. So. I don't know, it's just great and there's Christmas things everywhere and it's really nice and I don't know. It's just one of those really well played American movies and I don't know. And you get to go to the North Pole and see elves and see Christmas presents being wrapped and being... I don't know, it's just great. I just enjoy it and um, it's one of the best for me because there's tons of movies but I, I think they're just useless compared to that movie, for example. And the last one, which is a big surprise, but I like to watch it over Christmas, it's Little Woman, or Little Woman, if you are British, my friends. Um, it's a movie from 1994, which actually um, is full of really well-known actors right now. Um, so you all know Little Woman. It's an adaptation from Louisa May Alcott, and it's one of my favorite books as well. And it's the story of the March sisters throughout uh, the 19th century and how they learn how to be women during that really harsh time. Um, so just to name a few actors are Christian Bale, Winona Ryder, Kristen Dunst, Claire Dance, Susan Sarandon. There is many actors and really, really great actors in that movie. Um, I don't know, and just the fact that I think that during the movie, I need to watch the movie again, they're going through two or three different Christmases inside. I don't know, it's just great. I just always love that movie. It's a really like independent woman movie. I don't know, life. It's actually what well, the one one of those movies that there is only women, there are just a few male characters. Not to name Christian Bell. I swear when I was a little girl I had a crush on Lori, his character. That was just insane. But um, getting back to the movie, that was a TMI moment. It's one of the movies where all the female characters are really strong and they teach you a lesson. And I don't know, I just like it. I like the costumes and I like the story and you are following all the March sisters. And that's just, I don't know, I just like to watch it over Christmas. And it always makes me cry at some point because there is really sad moments. But you have to read the book as well because it's really great. It's um, kind of made in another way, like all the books and all the adaptations, but yeah. That's one of those books that uh, you need to read and one of those movies that you need to see. So, Little Woman is one of my Christmas, like, all-time favorites, believe it or not, even though it was, it's not a Christmas-related story. So that was my five favorite Christmas movies. I hope you have some as well. If you want to share, just comment below, you know what to do. So I'm gonna stop that video here. Uh, you know what to do, give me a thumbs up if you really liked it. Uh, follow me on social media and subscribe to the channel for more Christmas videos that are coming really soon. I'll see you in my next video. Enjoy my Christmas free background and bye!